welcome back, friendos, to another episode of Geek Select. I am Amber. I am Chad. And I am Dustin. And no one is bread. Thank goodness. Not yet. Not yet. Dustin wants to play that game. I, I don't do. know how I feel about it. I want it to hurt you. Oh, <laughs> whoa. The last time I heard that, well, it, 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 exactly what happened. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to talk about it. It was also said by Dustin. It was, wait, actually. Wait, what? Yeah. When did I say that? I don't know. In your sleep. I blacked out. I wanted so. to hurt you. I've said some weird shit in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, I, nev- I never know, but, uh, you know, luckily we have Amber over here to fill us in. My favorite of all time is I woke up. And you were muttering a lot, and I was like, what, what? And you, clear, clear as day, go, I'm not your fucking maid, kid, and then just <laughs> roll over and start snoring again. Maybe, maybe. And I was so confused. <laughs> this was the first time. This was when we first started living together. Yeah, I know. It was a long time ago now. Um... I feel, I don't know, maybe there was some kind of, like, latent emotion from, like, cleaning up after my brother or something. <laughs> Not Who your knows? fucking me, kid. <laughs> but, but, um, I do remember I was told about one that was definitely before your time when I was still in middle school, where I was at a birthday party. That, wow. It was... went from, like, 56 seconds to a minute and one second. We'll as soon as get... I hit the emerald. Like, it's, it's... Fuck you. Yeah, like, jump skipped a couple seconds. Anyway, sorry. We I won't just, get that was, time back. I was very confused. Where has the time gone? But I was at a slumber party, and we were playing Armored Core 3, I think wow, it was. Wow, that's throwing... That's yeah, throwing this is a back throwback there. story. Like, way back there. And I was tired, so I wanted to go to sleep. So I went... Apparently, I went to sleep while everybody else was still playing. And at one point, because they talk about, like, you going out on your mission in a voiceover in that game. And so, I respond to the voiceover, and I'm like, I don't want to do a mission. (laughs) (laughs) And that's the first on-record moment that I ever talked in my sleep that I know of. Are you a sleep talker, Chad? Um, I'm a sleep answerer. A sleep answerer? Yeah, like... Like, my mom has told me countless of times that I've had full conversations with her. Like, she would, like, come into my room and try and wake me up, and I would answer her. And, like, any questions that she asked, and I don't remember any of it, because I wasn't actually, actually awake. I'm the same way. Yeah, and I don't like that, because I don't want people to ask personal questions and me give them an honest answer. (laughs) I remember... And this is going back a little ways. So when the 202 first opened down mm-hmm. here in Chandler, they had a big party, yep. like, on the freeway. Because it wasn't open to the public yet. Weird. Yeah. It's a weird thing. But That's a weird thing to do. Okay. I know it's a weird thing to do, but it happened. And apparently my mom came in because it was on a Saturday. And she asked, she's like, hey, Amber, do you want to go to this block party thing? They've got a bunch of free food. Like, do you want to get some free food? I always want to get some free food. No, They're partying on the <laughs> highway. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I told her, I went, no. She goes, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, that sounds kind of dumb. <laughs> it's on the highway. Why would you do that? And she's like, all right, well, everyone else is going. I'm like, all right, you guys have fun. And then I wake up like an hour later and there's no one in my house. And there's no note. And I'm so confused. Wow. Um, I'm trying to think of anything like that. I don't think, I, I remember when I used to get off work really late, I would call you, yeah. and you would have a full, like, t- literally a 10, 15, 20 minute conversation, and have no fucking recollection the next, next day. Like, we would plan, like, an entire weekend in a phone call, and I'd be <laughs> like, hey, you ready to go? Like, and you'd be like, what? What are you talking about? I have, what? Well, huh? And I'm like, we had a conversation about this. He's like, was I awake for it? You made it. I don't know! Enough to answer the phone anyways! And somehow that's been reversed. Ooh, yes. Because now I'll be like, Dustin, we talked about this, and I'll look and be like, well, was I still completely in the room? Well, that's true. I can't hear things very well from the But he'll respond to me! He'll hear- Dustin, you hear weird things that, like... (laughs) Yes, I do. Yeah, you'll take statements that were said, and then say- Make them somewhat even more amazing than what they were. I have an example. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Where, oh, you have to. You're going to get a reference material. Yes. 
Have you been writing these down? Yes. How many do you have? I don't want to talk about it. Like, what was the one that I said today where you were just like, she's a badger? And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even say the word badger or anything with B in it. <laughs> I didn't think that was it. I don't remember what I said, though. I just remember you saying, what, she's a badger? And I'm like, she's a you furious know, badger. She's a furious <laughs> badger. Oh, uh, I don't have it. You don't have it? Darn it. What are you... What are you writing down about me that I don't know about? Uh, what I actually said versus what you heard. Oh, are we, we going to make a book about we it? We should put I might. that. We, oh, God. Wow, stuck, that I'm was stuck. a failure to. Oh, crap. And freaking <laughs> Sonic's way ahead of me now. Damn it. Oh, imagine that. This is just like what happens when you like die and you're gone for a while as Tails. You have to go on a snowboarding adventure, and then you. Oh, the actual. Dude, the game, the game glitched out for him, too. He got stuck. I'll take it. I'll take that all day long. I mean, wow, I could have stated that better. That's something you shouldn't say out loud. There's a lot of things we shouldn't say out loud. But, but we'll do them anyway. But we should totally do the uh, Dustin-isms and do that as a Twitter thing. Yeah. You guys, you I know... I have one. Okay. Um, I was asking you if you wanted to go see the Alice in Wonderland movie when it came out. Uh, yes, I remember that movie. And we were on the phone, and you just went... Amber, why would I want to play shoots and ladders? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, like, Gus what? is more of a Planko guy. <laughs> Let's be real here. I love Planko. You <laughs> I know, know I you love some Planko. I know you do. <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, go back and watch some of our first episodes <laughs> on Octodad. <laughs> Let's we'll see what we're talking about. Uh, I think that's just to throw out an episode. I think that's episode nine, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Which I'm not, because I totally watched it the other day. <laughs> um, but on the topic of uh, Plinko being a Price is Right game, um, have you ever wondered what it would be like when the Price is Right starts to like lose funding? No. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, so these are the things that I think about. <laughs> and, and so I'm going to the share them. The Price is Wrong, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to share them with you. So you like you imagine like right now the biggest thing that they always do is they'll like give you a new boat or a new car, uh, but you know Price is Right is kind of down on its luck at this point, and so they pull back the curtain and it's like a used car. <laughs> a used car. This used car comes with twenty percent financing from. <laughs> Insert finance company here. We don't get sponsored by a finance company, so we're not going to give them a shout out. Uh, but you get the Did you guys comments. just see what what just happened yes. there? That was all of five seconds worth of combat with Knuckles. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Chaos. Yeah. Oh, we're all chaos. Too. Yeah, we're just imagine well, the fucking where eyes going all over the place. From? I've been waiting here. <laughs> I have nothing better to do. <laughs> I've been waiting here since the Sonic playthrough for this. <laughs> I've been waiting since Sonic Two. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like a fucking DJ. He's like, yeah! Bring the noise! Throw your hands in the air! <laughs> DJ Emerald, motherfucker. In the DJ Emma Wilds. Emma Wilds. Emma Wilds. I have a list, but my Greek bad bad fuck. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> my beat bad bad. What? I have, a, I have a list, but my beats are beep bad 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 That's what I was trying to say. That's another thing that happens a lot with me, is I will, like, have every word... And it comes out in like one mismatched fucking sentence. We know. It's, uh, it's part of your charm, man. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's one of the worst ones I've ever had, though. I'm kind of surprised that when we got married and you're up there giving your vows. Your I hands wasn't... are shaking while you're doing that. Was, were my hands shaking? Probably. Oh, okay. And you're just like. And I promise I love you. <laughs> and I love you. I love you so much. I want to so I want you love you forever. I made you cry. Of course you I did. won. It wasn't a, it oh, wasn't that's a battle. Awful. You're the worst. <laughs> like it was the mosquitoes in my eyes, okay? No, the you know what? The mosquitoes were under dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of mosquitoes that day. It was it was unfortunate. Yeah, you, you're... it was still a very lovely thing to yeah. be a part of. So I thank you guys for letting me uh, letting me attend. That was that was cool. You are yes. quite welcome. Seeing as I've had other friends that have gotten married and then they just I never hear about it until after they're married. I'm like, oh, you guys are married now? Well, yeah. I'm like, thanks. Yeah, that was that that's was one gift you're weird, never getting. <laughs> that would be a weird thing. Have you ever gotten like one of those things? I, I know Amber reads about this all the time, or she used to anyway. Where it's like, yeah, I know you can make it to the wedding, but we still have a gift list. 
Yeah! <laughs> and bullshit! The actual fu- Oh, this- <laughs> I know this is Tails, but since it's basically the same story, all I can think about is the disappointed Capri Sun Dad. Oh, you remember that, don't <laughs> I you? I do. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, God, it's really bad with Tails, because it's like, I can't just- Run. I don't think I can jump on him. Yeah. So I have to hit him with my Tails, but later Tails gets like a upgrade that lets him basically do a, a break dance. Yeah. I think yeah. I had a Tails toy when I was a kid. Oh, really? Looking at how his tail works, yeah. What the hell? Get him! Like, it was, uh, I think maybe, I don't know if they ever had, like, a McDonald's toy. They did. They did. I they had, had that one. It was one of those, like, they, they sat in a base and you pushed them. Yeah, and his tail knuckles, would spin around. Yeah, they had a Knuckles one and a Sonic one, and then Tails was, like, a little helicopter thing. Yeah, okay, so yep. I'm not, I'm that not was crazy. A thing. That I think was that was for Sonic 3, actually. That sounds about right. You know what? I'm pretty sure Get that's your rings, son. accurate. Get your rings! So, you know, I was looking back, and I asked, um, I asked some people on Twitter the other day, uh, like, what the first thing they remember geeking out about was, so I figured I would pose the oh, question to you Oh, I saw that. That guys. was cool. Like, the first thing? Yeah, the first thing that you remember geeking out over. Hmm. Hmm. I think the first thing I... Oh, gosh, that's tough. I honestly think it was the Sega Genesis. Yeah. Getting the Sega Genesis and Sonic 2 for, like, my first, like, I own this. This is my gaming console. Was getting a Sega... And I don't even remember if it was a birthday or what. I just remember seeing it there, all hooked up, ready to go, and Sonic 2 sitting there. Like, that's what I remember the most. As far as, like, the first time I actually geeked out. But if you want to talk about a time where I almost lost my actual shit geeking out... Yeah. It was much later in life, but it happened like maybe two years ago when the original Red Ranger, Black Ranger, and Blue Ranger were at Phoenix Comic Con. I'm standing in line waiting to meet them, and I'm just like, oh my god, 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 and like, I'm like, oh my god, why am I, I'm losing my shit over like these guys that I watched when I was four years old, and I was just that excited. Well, speaking of Power Rangers and first geek outs, I think my first big geek out was when my dad got me the full, like, break apart Megazord. Like the original one? The original oh, one. Man. I had the bed set. I had. We still have the toys at yeah, my house. Yeah, we forget that we're both very much into Power Rangers. High five for Power Rangers! Woo! Boom, 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 boom. So that was your thing? Your thing was yeah. the Power Rangers? Yeah, I think that, that was the first thing. Obviously not my biggest geek mm -hmm. out. I'd have to think yeah. about that a little well, more. It's, it's your first, oh my gosh, I'm geeking out memory. I, I'm Like, this is weird because I think I only have a couple of pictures of it, but it's the vaguest memory I have. When I was three, I got one of the, uh, the Ghostbusters ghost vacuum things. And I know I'm not saying that's not the real name or whatever, but, you know, as a kid, it was the ghost vacuum. The stomp one from the cartoon. I honestly don't remember that. Really? No. The way you're describing it sounds like Elephant the Elephant. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, it was like, a, it was like the, the backpack ghost sucker from Ghostbusters. The, pro, the photon pack? Yeah! The proton pack? Yeah. And it had a little stompy thing that you could stomp on and it would make sounds. That's cool. And I, like, ran around my house for days with that. And I think that's the first time I ever geeked out about something. The next year it was the Ninja Turtles, and we know all about Not that. Bad. Go back to Sonic 2 for that one. And we'll go back to Sonic in the next episode of Geek Select. No, we're still playing as Tails. Sorry, buddy. You don't get off that easy. Fuck. But with the aunt. Like, you totally have, him. like, a Rasta board, bro. Just a bit. Yeah, like one, love, love. one love. One love. One love. One love. I can get down. Let's get the froggy and be alright. Be alright now. 